Today we're here with Geelong Cricket Club and uh, with me today we have Ian Redpath and David Kelly and myself Philip Marshall. There was an old <laughs> scoreboard uh, here and uh, Ray Gallagher and Noel McKenzie uh, used to look yeah. after that scoreboard. Right, but so the so highlight so. of it was that the Melbourne sides would come down to Geelong and uh, of course they hadn't seen a scoreboard as, as good as the one we had here. Yes. So the cameras would come out and there'd be photos taken and it was, uh -huh. uh, it was quite uh, a, a, something to remember. But it was also, gentlemen, it was also a good place to hide when you made a duck. <laughs> you could go over and help Noel and Ray in the scoreboard and uh, keep away yeah, from, your, uh, from your fellows. From all the sledging. Yeah, yes, fantastic. exactly, Absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like they're certainly great memories because oh, great Geelong's a great a city. Going. City for cricket, Geelong. Yeah. When you just oh, think wow. back to 1892, um, all uh, and we were blessed because all of those touring test teams actually came and played mm. out on the football ground, okay, where the wicket was. Yeah. And I can remember that one South African game where uh, Gary Hamer, who played a few oh, games, yes. okay, yes. he's a legend in Grovedale. Yes. Gary clean bowled Eddie Barlow for a duck. It could have been the first ball, and uh, he's living off that. <laughs> he's still going, and he's living off, living off that very well. But Ian, you've had uh, some experiences at uh, Cadinia Park. I got Clive Lloyd out in a World Series game, which was uh, he went to a lot of trouble to put that game on. And uh, anyway, in the process of getting that wicket, I leapt in the air with excitement and snapped my uh, Achilles tendon, so I had an easy season from then on. We had um, uh, circumstances there one day where Ross Allen, uh, now Ross is well known around yeah, Geelong, of course, and, yeah. and Ross was a very good wicket keeper, yeah. and uh, he had three boys who were, oh, they were rascals to say the least. <laughs> they would come down here and they'd jump on the roof and they'd go around the other side and try and climb the ladder up to the up to the scoreboard. But one day uh, Dougie Burge was coming in to bowl and Ross said hang on and he started to walk towards the uh, Brownlow stand over here yes. and yelled get down you boys off the roof get <laughs> down way. off yes. the roof. <laughs> the next week Margaret next week Margaret came with rope and put right, tied rope around the boys, gave them about 30 feet of, of space and tied them to the stairs of the grandstand. Yeah. Oh, really? So there's always a good story to tell somewhere, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. 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 Yes. And certainly one of those boys was a footy umpire, was he? Yes, yes, oh, right. Brett Allen. Brett, yes, yes, Brett Allen umpired over 300 um, AFL or VFL AFL games. He did, and also yeah. some grand finals. A remarkable yeah. sporting town, you know. It is. Yes, That's indeed. Really yes, indeed. And as David alluded to, um, Ian, that uh, we've had our visiting sides, international sides here. We've um, had the England and of course. Pakistan yep, yep. And, um, and India have yeah. all played um, out here in yep. South Africa early. Exactly. And Pakistan. So we've been very fortunate in Geelong yeah. to have these visiting sides, uh, yeah, yeah. sides come. Today, looking uh, over our ground, this is the Geelong Cricket Ground which was uh, opened and established in 1996, having played for many years uh, on the football ground. Uh, as we look out, there are great memories about the, this ground. A ground that is certainly recognised by the Premier Competition as being one of the best, rates highly every year in respect to the curating, and uh, it's a pleasure to play on. But the best story, and uh, again, getting back to Baggy Greens, the cricket club needed a photo of Ian's baggy green to put on a poster. And uh, Ian, as he always does, he, uh, he came down and was in his plastic bag, maybe the same as the one today, and, uh, and, he, <laughs> and uh, so he gave it to the photographer. And Ian and myself were in the Bruce Moore room watching the photographer. We're quite a way away from him. The photographer has put it on the ground and then he has sighted himself half a cricket pitch away from the cap, lying on his tummy. And, uh, and we're saying, oh gee, that's an interesting uh, way of taking the photo, you and know, myself were chatting. And then all of a sudden, a dog came <laughs> running around. <laughs> it got off someone's leash and it's come running. And Ian doesn't know whether he'll go through the glass window, or whether he'll go out the door, because the dog came sniffed around this baggy green. You can imagine how Ian felt at the time. But fortunately, it left it there, Ian. And uh, 
Yeah, and you've got it here today, yeah, which is fantastic. And no wet spots on it. <laughs> there was one wet spot. It was up in the Bruce Moore room, right? <laughs> yeah, I would never have seen it again. I had it, I had it pissed off the top of my head a couple of times, walking off the ground in, once in South Africa and once in Melbourne. But luckily, I got it back. You got it back each time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I had to have it. I had it as a fair chase to get it back to the South Africa. <laughs> but I wouldn't have caught the dog.